The historic and most distinctly Spanish-styled village of Inarahan is home to St. Joseph Church, the Gefpago Cultural Village, Bear Rock, and Godhouse Cave. Mayor Franklin M. Tidegui is seeking re-election. Well, in the uh, 12 years that I've been in office, I was very successful in, uh, in the, uh, some village road improvements. I was able to uh, get funding for the long time uh, awaited boat ramp for Inarahan. The mayor touts the baseball field project, flooding repairs, and the widening of the highway as some of his successes during his term, but he's hoping to be given another opportunity to serve his village. I like to see the uh, completion of the three major uh, bridges in Inarahan uh, completed. That, that uh, that those projects have been identified, earmarked for construction, and uh, those bridges have been damaged by, you know, past storms. The mayor also wants to see the renovation of the dilapidated Inarahan Community Center that's been sitting abandoned for nearly seven years, the construction of a gym and a mayor's so, office, fixing the erosion problem, and seeing progress on the IHA subdivision that's been stalled due to a lack of funding. The uh, IHA subdivision and the major problem with the subdivision is the lack of uh, infrastructure, improvement for road access, and uh, utilities for the residents to move into their properties. Newcomer and Air Force retiree Doris Flores Lujan is running against Taidegui this year. I am ready to make a commitment for the people of Inarahan. Lujan says she wants to focus on families in the village, specifically the youth, Manumco, and veterans. She also wants to implement a village care program. What I would like to do is for them to, um, you know, for us to go out there and, and help them with, uh, transport them for their, to their medical appointments. Um, do yard, yard services if they're, they live alone. Even though she isn't mayor, Lujan already took the initiative to clean up the basketball and multi-purpose court in the village, giving youth an outlet to stay off the streets and out of trouble. I'm really proud of, you know, of, 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 of our children now. They're make, making use of this facility. The lights are on till about 1030 at night. And, and even even uh, kids from uh, Telephone will come down here and they were uh, Checking out their talents. I know funding is, is, is a problem, but you know if we can get all the resources, I can you know I would like to identify grants uh, to or, or, or corporate uh, sponsors to uh, build a, a gymnasium down here. Luan says she also wants to focus on erosion issues within the village, see repairs to roads in the south that are a daily nuisance, and provide infrastructure needs for the IHA subdivision. There are about 24 homes and. Uh, Actually, the six-inch pipelines uh, extended up to where the stop sign is, and after that, it's a, only a two-inch uh, pipe. And uh, also, we need uh, fire hydrant up there. I am ready to serve the people of Inalan, and I'm, I really want to make a difference in this community. We head now to the beautiful village of Marizo that showcases some of the most scenic shorelines on the island. That's where we find Marizo Mayor Ernest Chargaloff at the Marizo Pier. I think the, the, the most significant accomplishment I had is bringing this park back to the people of Marizo. When we came in, we didn't have any machinery. We only had one vehicle. And now we have like six or seven. The mayor was also able to get the youth center up and running and equip it with recreational equipment for the kids. He's also been a staunch supporter of sports programs. And every year since I've been in, I've, I've always supported the sports uh, programs here, uh, soccer, baseball, uh, volleyball, basketball. I always pay for the entrance fees for all the teams. Chargaloff is hoping to get re-elected to continue various projects in the village, including the building of 150 crypts at the cemetery. Because we're about to face a dilemma. We only have like maybe seven or six more crypts left over. So I'm hoping that the, uh, the construction company can move on the permit so they can commence on the project, because otherwise we'll be left to the crisis where we bury our dead down there. He also wants to see two of the village's bridges repaired. Well, this is one of the two bridges, uh, temporary bridges, that uh, were built uh, to, you know, while we're waiting for the uh, construction of the new bridge. And 
it's been out for so many years. Uh, this is an inconvenience. The mayor think. says he and his staff work tirelessly day in and day out to keep the village beautiful and safe. Every day, like you said, we're not letting down. We're just embarking project after project, and we've done a lot. Former Department of Education Superintendent and Guam Education Board member Rosie Tainatongo is running against Chargalov. So all I'm asking is the people of Mariso to give me the opportunity to serve them. I am ready to be the servant of the people of Mariso. Tainatongo believes her village is the most beautiful on the island and hopes to bring back a beautification contest, urging residents to take pride in their lawns and ultimately in their village. Tainatongo also wants to see Public Works finally repair two bridges that have been inoperational for years. We need to uh, campaign hard to get this bridge fixed. We can't lay back and wait for things to happen. We need to forge forward and let it make it happen. If elected, she's also hoping to implement a satellite service that provides government services for residents of the village so they wouldn't have to drive so far. I also would like to work with GPD to have a neighborhood watch to prevent uh, crime and vandalism and, and protect our people of Mariso. I also would like to see the library, you know, uh, the library to be to be totally utilized. I would like to go ahead and use it for a tutoring service, after school tutoring service for our kids. Tina Tango also hopes to fix up the village baseball field, push to have indoor gyms built in the village, and a senior citizen center, have medical fundraisers for those who can't afford medical treatment off island, as well as fix up the old health and senior center. So what I wanted to do was to, uh, to t fix this up, renovate it, and use it for a rescue station. Uh, because we have a lot of people that are coming here, they're fishing in Mariso, and we would like to convert this to a rescue, a satellite rescue station.